When we went through the process for deriving the equation of ellipse, the definition was based solely on a relationship based on the two focal points. Now, if you think back to our earlier discussion of parabolas, those curves had not only a focal point, but a second attribute, a line called a directrix. And it turns out that ellipses have directrices also, but we have to work a little bit if we want to find them. Right? So I, I have this equation here, and I'm not just pulling this out of nowhere. If you go back and look at uh, the process where I derived the equation of the ellipse a couple lectures back, this equation shows up during that process. It's about on a third of the way through. Right? So if we start from here, divide both sides by a. Right, this becomes the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared equals negative cx plus a squared over a. Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the left side alone. It's going to be the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared. And over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to factor out c over a. Right, so if I factor out c over a. This becomes a squared over c minus x. Okay, and there it is, right? It's in there. This expression on the left-hand side, this is the distance from a point on the ellipse, x comma y, to the focus, right? To the focal point down here at c comma zero. This distance over here is the distance from that same point to the line x equals a squared over c. And that line is the directrix. Right? So if we take a look at my at my equation over here, right? In, in this ellipse, it looks like uh, c is about 2.4, and it looks like a is about somewhere around 4.8. Right, so if we do this, this calculation here, this is telling me that the directrix is at uh, 4.8 squared over 2.4, which is roughly 9.6. So that's over here, uh, just slightly off the edge of my graph a little bit. Now, I want to be clear about what this is saying. Right? If we have this point here, x comma y, on the graph, and we look at the distance from that point to the focus and from that point over to the directrix. This equation is, is not saying that those two distances are the same. If those two distances are the same, we wouldn't have an ellipse, we'd have a parabola. Right? That was a parabola's definition. What this equation is saying, what this relationship is saying, is that the distance from the focal point to a point on the curve is equal to this ratio times the distance over to the directrix. Right? So that, that ratio, again, again, if we calculate that with our numbers, this is x equals 4.8 over, uh, excuse me, I'm getting it backwards. That's 2.4 over uh, 4.8 which is a half, right? So it's saying that the distance to the line, that if we take the distance of the line, cut it in half, then we get the distance to the focal point. And you can see, give or take my graph, these are estimates of A and C. That's pretty close to what we're seeing over there in the diagram. So this, this value here, C over A, uh, one thing I want to point out about it before we move on, uh, is it has to be between 0 and 1, right? So 0 is less than C over A is less than 1. Uh, that value A is the length of the semi-major axis. It's this distance here. That value is always strictly bigger than C. Right? If A and C are equal, it's not an ellipse. We get a circle, right? So it's strictly greater than C, which means that ratio has to be somewhere between 0 and 1. Okay, so where, where are we going next? Well, that ratio, C over A, uh, is actually important. It's got a name. It's called the eccentricity of the ellipse. And we're going to take a look at that in a little more detail in the next lecture.